the National Academy of Medicine released a report in 1999 titled, To Air is Human. The goal of the report was to highlight the thousands of deaths that occur each year due to errors in the healthcare field. And while the National Academy of Medicine may be right, making errors could just be part of the human condition, there are certain times when errors shouldn't happen. In the healthcare field, when someone's life is quite literally on the table is one of those times. Now, I don't wanna scare you or mislead anyone, so let me be clear that errors in the healthcare field don't always lead to death. More often than not, they lead to short and long-term consequences that decrease a person's quality of life. These deaths and quality of life years lost, along with a couple other factors, have placed the US healthcare system at 37th in the world. But public health professionals are looking at ways to address this, and I believe it starts with technology. Technology has been evolving rapidly with new and exciting upgrades each year, while the US healthcare system has stayed the same and even gotten worse in some aspects. It's time for the technology we use every day to become integrated with the healthcare system, move the US up in the ranks, and save thousands of lives in the process. It's time to welcome healthcare to 2021. Let's start with something we can't seem to live without. The Pew Research Center estimates that over 95% of Americans own a cell phone. And like me, some Americans are so attached to their cell phones that they even feel vibrations for notifications that never happened. I could have just shared wonderful news with some of you and made you realize you're not alone in feeling what scientists call phantom vibrations, but I say we actually use this attachment to cell phones to our advantage in the healthcare field. A study by Jose Mira and his team found that when a patient uses a mobile app that provides reminders and tracks medication intake, they increase their adherence by up to 40%. That's huge. Making apps with similar abilities more widely available and educating both patients and healthcare providers about their benefits could greatly reduce the amount of patient-related errors in the healthcare field. And all it takes is a cell phone and a few more notifications. Another reason that the US ranks so low in healthcare is the long wait time to see a doctor, and the lack of doctors in rural communities can further exacerbate the wait. But recently, we've seen a way that cell phones can fix this too. There's been a rise in telehealth during the coronavirus pandemic, and I hope that we can use this momentum to jumpstart telehealth in the United States even more. Telehealth reduces the wait time to see a doctor, allows doctors to see more patients each day, and it brings doctors to the rural communities that are often forgotten. Telehealth also frees up hospital beds as patients can be triaged at home and told whether or not they need to come in for further attention, which in turn decreases the wait time in hospitals even more. Cell phones are the perfect example of how we don't need to spend millions of dollars in research and development for a new piece of technology. In many cases, we just need to better utilize what we already have. Another part to bringing the United States healthcare system up to date is implementing a national electronic health record system. We have national systems for research, missing persons, court cases, but we don't have one for health records yet. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, over 85% of hospitals and doctor's offices have already transitioned away from the stacks upon stacks upon stacks of paper health records but there's still a severe lack of interoperability and connectivity between health records at different locations. This is why you have to fill out the same form at every hospital and doctor's office you go to, which as we know, leads to unnecessary stress and time associated with each visit. Even worse, you could forget to put something on a form or you could just get lazy and not wanna fill the form out all the way, and a location could have an incomplete health record on you, possibly leading to avoidable errors in the future. National electronic health record systems, like those found in the UK and Australia, can help fix some of these issues. National systems have been shown to decrease adverse drug events by 52%, decrease errors tied to handwriting legibility by 60%, decrease medical costs, and they make telehealth that we talked about earlier more practical as both patient and healthcare provider have access to a full health record. National electronic health record systems paired with the better use of cell phones for reminders and telehealth, could provide the United States with a crucial backbone it needs to improve its healthcare system. And the final piece to improving the US healthcare system that I wanna to touch on is increasing access to resources. In my mind, the most exciting use of technology comes from the African country of Rwanda. 
Now, what many people don't realize about Rwanda, one of the countries with one of the lowest GDPs in the world, is that it actually has a higher vaccination rate, higher HIV treatment adherence, and a greater reach of healthcare services than the United States. They've been able to achieve all of this through the use of drones. I attended a global health conference in 2019 and had the privilege of listening to Rwanda's Minister of Health speak about how the country uses drones to deliver vaccinations, medications, and treatments directly to the homes of its citizens throughout the country. She spoke about how the use of drones has pretty much eliminated the barriers of travel and distance to healthcare. And I believe that the rural communities here in the Dakotas and Appalachia would greatly benefit from a similar use of drones. Flooded roads, rough terrain, bridges being out, or even the lack of roads in general would no longer impede someone from getting the meditation that they need as a drone could simply fly above it all. We're currently testing the use of drones to deliver our packages from online shopping, so why not test their use to deliver meditations? If we pair telehealth to see a doctor with drones to deliver the medications that they prescribe, the United States could provide reliable health care to thousands of people currently without it. In summary, cell phones, national electronic health records, and drones are just a few examples of how the United States could greatly benefit from the better use of technology. And the more technology that we connect, the better the outcome will be. Public health has recently taken the global spotlight, but the shortcomings of the US healthcare system have shared that spotlight. Further emphasized by personal anecdotes I've seen on social media, I believe people are ready to tackle these shortcomings and are looking for ways to do so. Public health professionals are looking for ways to do this, and I hope that people can listen to them and truly trust them and save lives in the process. After all, that's what healthcare is all about. It's clear that our country's lack of innovation and resourcefulness has caused unnecessary suffering. So when will we say enough is enough and start applying the solutions we see right in front of us? Well, we're two months into 2021, and I don't think we have any more time to waste. It's time to reimagine what is possible and reignite the integration of technology in healthcare. Thank you.